Hello everybody, I'm about to show you how to fix the uh, internet issues if you're having um, disconnecting internet or um, your internet is very slow. Um, there is a software we developed to actually help you improve your internet browsing experience. Well, if, you're, if your internet keeps cutting off and, um, and uh, yeah, it's very slow. All right, so let me guide you through how to get around it. So go to lakeshot.com and browse to the bottom of the page. Here you'll see a courtesy tab. Just click on the link and you'll come here. So here are the instructions that I'll just guide you through. Click on the link below and make sure you save that. Navigate to the folder. Now you have that zip file. Cut that and open your C drive. Make sure you actually paste this in your C drive. I already have it here, so that's why I had to actually replace it. Make sure that is located again with your C drive. So what you want to do next is extract it. Once you extract that, you will see the folder online. Open the folder. It's very tiny, it's about one meg. So double click on the uh, online, this green little icon here. That's the same online um, icon as the uh, Late Chef, right? So once you have that, double click on that, and you'll see the software will pop up here. Now you'll see a red blue one if the uh, default settings are not the correct settings for your modem. But if it's green, then you're in luck. The settings are correct for your modem. So what you want to do, you'll see here. You'll come automatically to this page. Uh, here you'll see two LEDs, online LED and network LED. So the online LED, if it's green, that means your, your, your modem is functioning correctly. You're able to browse the web. Everything is working fine. So if that's red, that means uh, you're not uh, having internet connection. Something not right. If the uh, this network uh, LED, if this is green, then your modem is functioning correctly. If it is yellow, that means the uh, modem is at a semi-working condition. So the modem might be working, but it has some issues. Uh, your internet might be slow, or um, sometimes keeps cutting off. But most likely, if it's yellow, then it's slow. That means there are some issues. If it's red, that means uh, the modem is not at working condition. Uh, and once that goes red, the network LED, the uh, online LED will inev inevitably be red as well because now you, you won't have any internet access. So how to go about setting up this little software? Click on settings here, and here you see some settings of the modem. Now you have the IP address. This IP address is the IP address of the uh, um, of your modem. So once you paste that in your in your browser and hit enter, you'll open the uh, modem settings page. Um, once you try to make some changes here, it might be prompting you with the username and password. But username and password is the it needs to be entered right here. Okay, let me just pin this so it won't disappear. Uh, <coughs> so sorry about that. Um, in here, once you have the IP address, the correct one for your modem, if your modem requires username and password, then you'll enter them here. These are This is not the username and password that you use for your network. This is the username and password for the modem itself to control that, okay? So how about to make sure that this software is correctly functioning with the modem and it's communicating and it's able to control the modem. So. In order to test that, you select default one. Make sure this is selected so you can have the options to select. So select default one and press test. You can press once, twice, or maybe three times, depending on the modem. Some modems, they, they require one time, some modems require twice or three times. I particularly have not experienced anything more than three times, but you never know. So once you press on the test and you see those black things flashing, that means it's sending commands to the modem to clear the cache, clear the memory, and make sure all the errors and, and stuff that has occurred in the modem that prevents you from uh, browsing the web successfully 
has been fixed. If it's not, it's going to restart. But test will definitely restart automatically, no matter what. So what you want to do, you want to look at your modem physically and make sure that the modem is restarting right now. So the, the lights will be blinking black and then slowly coming back alive. So make sure that this is actually happening. If that's not happening, then um, you want to select default 2. Again, I'm assuming that the IP address, username, and password are the correct ones for your modem. So once you select default 2, again, test and check it out if it's actually here. I'll press another third time. Once this is actually done, now check it again to make sure that the modem is restarting. If the modem slash router is not restarting, then um, if you're actually uh, using the uh, Smart RG 505N, this is the modem that's been tested the software uh, intensively on. Um, then um, select that modem. And uh, once you select this modem, make sure the IP and everything is correct. Test, this should definitely work. Uh, the modem will restart. Let's just say none of these options actually are the ones for you. Oh, by the way, just to tell you a bit more about SmartRG, this is the um, modem provided by Canadian network providers, Tech Savvy, Akamag, uh, subdivision of Bell Internet Connections, DSL Fiber Optic. So if you have those fiber optic internet, you'll be experiment experiencing a lot of issues with the internet, the internet cutting off, the internet being slow. This is the software to use. Um, it's very tiny, consumes very little memory, under 10 megs, and basically no CPU usage. So let's just say none of these three options have worked. So what do you do? You want to do scripting. Okay? It's a little more advanced. So once you deselect the selection of the modem, you'll see a little little scripting page here, like a text box. Here, default one is actually uh, sending a script restart, and default two sends reboot. All right. So these two are eliminated by using default and the default two, vice or maybe vice versa. So if this didn't work, try maybe re set and then test and see if that actually will work for you if that does not work then maybe r start or maybe r boot or r set again every time you enter the script you want to test it and, and, and monitor the uh, modem physically and make sure that it's restarted if none of these actually work, then um, try to go on Google and type like Telnet modem restart and uh, enter your modem number and see what the command line is for restarting the modem uh, remotely. If you're not able to find it on Google, then I would suggest strongly to contact the manufacturer of the modem and they will definitely be able to provide you the script to restart the modem. So then you just enter the script here, whatever it is, and uh, and uh, test it. Once you test it, the modem will restart and you're set to go. So, once you got the settings going and the, this is functioning correctly, the next step is for you to actually um, see uh, if, if you want to launch it, uh, to start monitoring on the start of the, pro uh, of the application. You want to select auto start. So, once the auto start is selected, once the software is actually launched, it will automatically start monitoring the network. Uh, usage, uh, it will monitor the uh, network connection of your modem and it will be monitoring if uh, the uh, internet connection is established and is working at the proper stage. So let's say you have that selected, so every time you launch the software it will actually automatically start controlling everything. So the next step you want to do is you want to uh, make it start automatically on the uh, start of the Windows. So what you want to do is uh, go back to the folder where you actually unzipped it and right click on the software and go to send to and then click create desktop shortcut. So once that's done, cut that and you want to post it, uh, paste it at the uh, startup folder of the Windows. And that is located right here. So I already have it here. Um, Um, let's see, cut, paste, replace. Alright, so that's here. Now, if you're using Windows 8, uh, you won't 
see the uh, startup 